Today we'll be reviewing part number HM20001. This is the Hopkins trailer breakaway kit with a charger. So what you're going to get is you're going to get the breakaway box, which is a switch. You're going to get the cable and it has the plug in it that plugs into the back side of the switch. You're going to get the battery box that is locked uh, with the screw so that is sealed shut. You got the exposed wires coming from the chargeable battery and from the switch. They're all going to be color coded. You have two options when it comes to mounting. You can either choose to mount using the U-bolt setup with the washers and the lock nuts, or you can use the self-tapping screws with the washers and the lock nuts, whatever is best going to suit uh, your application, whether you mount to your trailer frame or to your jack. So it has the battery charger system, which is great to have, lockable weather resistant battery box. Um, inside is going to be a sealed 12 volt rechargeable battery. And once you have everything wired correctly, that will charge on its own. The breakaway switch, this uh, can be mounted somewhere close enough that you allow yourself enough cable to reach to the tow vehicle. And so what a breakaway switch kit does is this system is designed to bring trailers safely to a stop by activating the electric trailer brakes should a trailer be disconnected while driving. And for instance, if your safety chains were to fail, then the breakaway system would be used as a last line of defense. This type of safety system is usually required in most states on trailers rated over 3,000 pounds. The box can be mounted on a trailer jack or trailer frame. It's going to work with single axle and tandem axle trailers with electric brakes. And this breakaway kit system does meet DOT specifications. So the wiring on this, on your switch you're going to find a black and a blue wire. The black wire is going to connect to the trailer brake system. The blue wire is going to connect to the blue wire coming out of the battery box. So here at the battery box you have the blue wire which connects to the brake switch. You have the black wire which is going to be your charging circuit wire. And then you have your white wire which is going to be your ground wire. So all those cables are exposed. All you got to do is splice the ends um, to expose the cable itself. They're nice and coated so they are going to stand up well against the elements. Go over a few measurements real quick. The switch itself from end to end, including the mounting slot, is going to measure three inches. So you can see here on this end of the switch that we do have a mounting hole to firmly secure it. When mounting this, you do want to make sure that you don't have any obstructions in line of the pool or the breakaway cable. You want that to be a nice clean pool or disconnect if that was to ever um, come disengaged. The overall height of that switch box is going to give us about 7 eighths of an inch. The battery box, overall width is going to be about 7 inches. The overall depth is going to measure about 5 inches. And then our overall height is going to measure right around 3 inches. That's going to do it for today's review of part number HM20001. This is the Hopkins trailer breakaway kit with a charger.